Are you ready for a fresh Captain America story? Then you have it. In Captain America Brave New World, Sam Wilson plays our favorite character, Captain America. This is the fourth Captain America movie, and it's part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This is not it. There is a lot to follow us in this movie that you'll see in 2025. Before this movie release, let's feed you some details about this upcoming amazing movie. Let's get started. As part of Phase 5 of the MCU, Captain America Brave New World is scheduled to release on February 14, 2025. Since we have heard this news, we are waiting for 2024 to come to an end ASAP. <laughs> Kevin Feige, Marvel's boss, said in October 2015 that Captain America Civil War featuring Chris Evans as Steve Rogers would be the last movie in Captain America trilogy. But surprise, surprise, I guess manifestation this movie. It was expected that Chris Evans would not do another solo Captain America movie after Avengers Infinity War and the almighty Avengers Endgame, but he was open to the idea. In January 2021, it was said that Evans might play Steve Rogers in at least one more project. Evans said afterward that he didn't know anything about these stories. After The Falcon and the Winter Soldier came to an end in April 2021, Spielman and writer Dallin Musson were set to be working on a fourth Captain America movie that would continue Wilson's story. That we wanted to see. We as fans can see Captain America our whole lives, right? There were rumors that Evans might come back as Rogers did for a different job. However, Mackie wasn't sure about future seasons or movies, but he was excited about what was coming up, especially the chance to star in his own MCU movie, which would be a big deal for him as a black actor. In the end, Mackie agreed to be in the new Captain America movie in August. Afterward, he talked about how upset he was that he and his co-stars Sebastian Stan and Daniel Brohl could not continue working on the Falcon and the Winter Soldier as planned. What did Mackie just say about the next big thing in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? It's not your typical superhero movie reboot. No way, Bob. Captain America New World Order, which is part of Phase 5 and is set to come out in 2025. Everything was set for an amazing movie season. In May, Deadpool and Wolverine were set to rock the big screens. Then, there was a story twist. In 2023, there is a strike. The famous SAG-AFTRA for those who like words, and Disney stops making Marvel movies. What will happen next? The powerful deal of Deadpool and Wolverine caused trouble and took Captain America's July spot instead. Can you picture what they would say to each other? Hey Logan, looks like we're bumping Cap off this summer break. Classy. However, there is more going on. Our new Captain Mackie got a new job, so his movie had to be pushed back a long time. Poor Blade fans, they're on the edge of their seats because the movie is now set to come out in 2025. Right? Being patient is a good thing. In the new Captain America movie, you'll see Anthony Mackie wearing the famous red, white, and blue boots. With him, Harrison Ford himself is going to show up in this nostalgic series with a new flavor. There is more to Harrison than just his part. In this crazy Marvel twist, he's taking over for Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross, who's not only a big deal, but also the new president of the United States. Do you remember Ross? He was the person whose Sokovia Accords, which tried to limit superhero powers, caused Captain and Falcon a lot of trouble. He's now in charge of the whole country. Wow, what a change in character. The interesting part, though, is that Ford might also change into the Red Hulk. Yes, you did hear that right. People who like Marvel Comics are already very excited about what could happen. Harrison Ford, who is known for his tough parts and iconic look, becoming the Hulk? This is the best kind of crossover magic that Marvel does. It combines the strange with the epic. Anthony Mackie recently told the truth about working with Ford in an interview. He made fun of how everyone on the set was amazed at first and tried to please the Hollywood star. Someone get Harrison water, he joked, talking about how strange it was to be in scenes with such a big name in the business. But when she was not starstruck, Mackie thought about how lucky he was to play these unrealistic characters on screen. It blows my mind, Mackie said, to see Harrison still excited to dive into this universe after all these years in the business. It truly shows how grateful we are to have the chance to do what we do. And yes, we are very lucky. With Ford's experienced skills added to Marvel's legacy, fans of superhero stories have a better future than ever. A lot of new people are ready to shake things up and join Mackie and Ford. Giancarlo Esposito, who is known for his scary parts on Breaking Bad, plays an unknown killer in Marvel. 
Another reason to go crazy about watching this movie, Danny Ramirez is the new Falcon, and he gives the team new energy and charm. Shira Haas, Zosha Roquemore, Carl Lumbly, Liv Tyler, and Tim Blake Nelson are also in the cast, and each of them brings something special to the group. And come on, this is the amazing team no matter what you say. Do you remember the 2021 movie The Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Well, it left us hanging with Wilson, who used to be known as the Falcon, struggling with the heavy duty of using Captain America's shield after Steve Rogers gave it to him before his brave exit. Now, Wilson is not just flying around on his wings, the dreams of the whole country are on the shoulders. The big question there remains. Does Wilson work with the US military and government again, or does he go his own way as the new Captain America and try to figure out who he is along the way? The newest trailer gives us a lot of hints by showing us a badly damaged Washington DC and a scary lab. In Marvel movies, labs are never just for making scientific discoveries. They're always a sign that trouble is coming that we know very well. Wilson's newest enemy is the leader, played by Nelson. The leader comes straight from the world of comic books where he was created by Stan Lee. There's more to this bad guy than meets the eye. He's a genius of evil with plans to destroy everything. This is what I really adore about Marvel Cinema. They create a world where knowledge becomes the source of destruction. Fantasy is one thing, but real life is incorporated to the movies in one way or the other. Before this, Wilson worked with Bucky Barnes, also known as the Winter Soldier, to deal with the leftovers of Hydra's research on brainwashing soldiers to make them unstoppable. They went together like peanut butter and jelly. Weird, but great for kicking Hydra in the core. The most recent teaser, which came out on July 12th, promises action, a reunion with some old friends, and a lot of chaos in the world that only Captain America can handle. Ford, who has been Wilson's friend for a long time, tells him that even though he's wearing the famous suit, he is not Steve Rogers. Wilson's answer? A calm and sure, you're right, I'm not. So Julius Ona is the director of this to-be iconic movie, which is his first time working with Marvel films. His movies The Girl is in Trouble and The Cloverfield Paradox may be familiar to you. During the Disney 2023 Expo in September 2022, Ona told that this movie is like the old-school Captain America movies that we all love. Sam Wilson, also known as the Falcon turned Cap, is up against the leader, a very smart enemy. You're never sure what this guy will do next because he's always a step ahead. The movie was shot in Atlantis, Georgia, beginning in March 2023. It brought the Marvel magic to life, and by June 2023, they were done in Washington DC, which is where things get really serious. The trailer really dropped a shock, and DC looked like it got hit hard. There is even a picture of the famous White House being blown up very high. A lot of the story seems to be about the president, and you know things are going to get big when superheroes and politics mate. Ona said, there would be shocks around every corner, so Marvel fans all over the world are in for a thrill. Wow. Now that is called a description. Only months later, the movie will get released. Again, Marvel fans will be fighting over the internet to not give spoilers from the movie. The theaters will be house full, and I'll definitely be part of this crowd. Are you too a Captain America fan? Do tell us about your favorite Cap moment from the movie in the comment section below. If you enjoyed watching the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel.